in the professional setting there are usually two types of people who reach me out first are the foodies who want to be fit and second are the nutritionists or the students who are on the path of becoming a nutritionist and they want career guidance or they want to develop a nutrition practice like i have and today's video is for those students What's up everyone welcome back to Reena Rish with Manisha and in today's video we are going to talk about the four major skills that a nutritionist must have if he or she is adamant on making a career out of this education if you are interested in learning from a nutritionist who has been practicing almost for 10 years then keep on watching and insider information usually these things are not taught to us in the college the first skill that a nutritionist must have is to be a student forever i know it might sound very basic but let me tell you why i'm saying this there is an estimate that almost 30000 to anywhere around 2 million researches get published every single year that means that there is so much to study and no matter how much studious you are no matter what degree do you have you if you are a nutritionist and if you are anywhere near the science of human body you will have to keep learning and i'm not only talking about the academic excellence there are so many other things which you will have to learn over a period of time as you go on progressing in your career three more of those i'm going to tell you in this video so let's move on to the second point the second skill that a nutritionist must have is the power of articulation or expression what i mean by that is that when you are supposed to explain something to somebody whether you are talking about the written media or you are taking one on one counseling sessions it's very important that you simplify the science to its bits so that somebody who is not a science graduate somebody who may not even have gone to school yet would be able to understand what you are saying and if you want to actually do a litmus test around it find a 5 year old around you and try and explain that kid what exactly you do for a living if you succeed that means you're doing well otherwise if you are taking any more than 2 to 3 sentences to do that then maybe you need some work in this area the skill number 3 that a nutritionist must have are the counseling skills well the skill of expression and counseling skills are very different because expression is only about simplifying what you are talking about counseling skills is about conveying that information in a way that the other person doesn't get hurt in fact there are so many of the cases that i have come across in the 10 years of my career where the clients have come and told me that there were some nutritionists in the past who have been really hurtful with the words and that actually led to the person being more disturbed than they were before they were going to the nutritionist let me show you how let's say you have somebody in front of you who has never been active and they have been always sedentary they have let's say 40 or 50 kgs to lose and they come to you for counseling here they can be to wait i'll show you so i am done writing all of the things that you have told me uh, can you tell me a bit about where exactly the weight gain started for you and uh, where exactly the medical issues started for you and how that made you feel Okay so I see that you have 40 kgs extra don't you think it's a little too late to start your weight loss journey where were you when you were 20 kgs overweight do you get what i wanted to say and if you are not a nutritionist and you are able to relate with it you have had a story like that please share in the comments below so that the nutrition students can understand the value of counseling so far in this video i have told you the importance of being a student forever i have told you the importance of explaining the science to the bits to a 5 year old and i have told you what is the importance of compassionately delivering your knowledge if you think that as a nutritionist there is any mistake in these areas that you are doing i am coming up with a free master class on 24th of july where i am going to tell you three more mistakes that you might be making and that is keeping you away from the people who really require your services so if you want to attend the master class register in the link given in the description box and i will see you on 24th of july and if you are not a nutritionist you know a nutritionist send this video to them so that they can take the benefit of this free master class and moving on to the fourth skill that a nutritionist should have in this date social media why i have kept social media in the top four skills that a nutritionist should have is because in this time and era where you know the kind of jobs that are available out there in fact if i tell you my experience when i started out 10 years back the salary that i used to draw as a starting nutritionist is the same salary right now that the nutritionists take when they begin 
that's really disturbing and fast forward to 5 years when i was in my dream job earning my dream salary being the dream employee because i was the top performer every single month and i was out doing myself left right and center when the pandemic hit I had a 70% pay cut. So it doesn't matter how good you are at the job or how bad the job you have. There is no guarantee ever. And in the midst of all of this, you should know how you can create money for yourself. And social media can be an actual tool where you can connect with people, get more leads for your business, build relationships and have clients which are not only going to value you, but you will be able to help them because they know the worth of having a nutritionist. And to be honest, dealing with clients has been such a blessing for me because when I see people leaving their medicines, when I see people moving around when they were actually stuck to a bed, it feels really good because I can see, I can create an actual change in people's life. But understanding social media is not as easy as creating an account on social media. You will have to learn a lot of techniques of designing, marketing, connecting with the right people and so much more. So despite the fact that these are just two words, it's actually a lot more in-depth and you need a lot of skill development for that. And that is the reason why social media is the fourth skill but a very important skill on my list. If you like today's video, then next week's video is going to be such a treat for you because in next week's video, I am going to expose my whole client journey, where I get clients from, how I convert them, how I counsel them and so much more. So if you're interested in that, click the subscribe button right now so that YouTube tells you when I upload that video. And if you've seen me for the first time, come say hi on my Instagram. We are having a great party there. We connect every day, we talk and there is so much of knowledge sharing that is happening over there. I'll see you there. Until then, be a fit foodie and remember, I love you unconditionally. Bye.